So now in 2002, you went through a terrifying experience that left you temporarily blind in both eyes. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to talk about. It was terrifying. Yeah, that's got to be. Yeah. So, and the thing is, is I wasn't open and honest with my fans about that cosmetic surgery. So I changed the color of my eyes mm -hmm. to green. Mm -hmm. My mom has green eyes. Mm -hmm. And I was obsessed with her fucking green eyes. I can't blame my mom for this, but she did give me green eyes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mom. <laughs> so yeah, I was so obsessed. I'd wear contacts, literally. I'd wake up, put contacts in before I left the house. And I just was like, everyone will think I have green eyes. Like this mm -hmm. was happening back in high school even. Like I wanted green eyes badly. As a dancer, I wore contacts. But before I got into online sex work, I did the cosmetic procedure. I changed my eye color. Mm -hmm. So I rocked it like those were my real eyes, mm -hmm. right? So the surgery went well. And I, like, I'm really diligent with surgeries, like follow-up, aftercare. It's serious business. You are going under the knife. You're doing something like that. I understood the repercussions. I researched it for five years before I did it, the surgery. I didn't know that you could do a surgery that changed yes, the color of your eyes. Yes, you're not really, and it's not FDA cleared. But what I'm saying is I did research it the way is like, I had a contact on Instagram and she had it done two years before me. And three years before that, I was looking into the procedure. I was following all these people with the same procedure. They had no complications. I get mine done, okay? I go back to Canada because I had it done in Mexico. And um, everything's fine. Like, I go to the eye doctor. They're not happy with me. They're like, this is scary shit. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but we're not taking them out because you have 20-20 vision. Endothelial cells, they're totally fine. Everything's intact. No damage. We're good. We're going to mm -hmm. watch you every three months. I was in the eye doctors every three months doing my follow-up. Six years go by. No complications. But... Two years before that, so four years into my procedure, the girl that I talked to had started having problems. The guy that I followed three years before that, he went blind. So I was panicking. So like even two years before my ordeal happened, I was begging Canadian eye doctors, please take these out of my eyes, please. So were they implants then? Yes. Okay. It was like a silicone um, iris implant. Okay. And they do do the procedure medically for people born without iris color. So, mm -hmm. but okay, that doesn't make it better. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, so I uh, I start getting scared. I start asking for them removed. Canadian doctors won't touch your eyes unless something's wrong. Mm -hmm. So they say they tell me you'll have to go back to Mexico to get them out. They said, but we don't advise that because if you do that, you're risking your sight. Yeah. So I'm scared to do, scared to not. I'm, yeah. I'm, it was a ticking time bomb in my eye. Yeah. I had so many panic attacks within those two years. Just one day, one day I wake up, I can't see out of my right eye, blind. I can't see. I'm just like, this is it. Like I knew it was coming too. Mm -hmm. So that's like the worst part about it. Mm -hmm. So my family pulls together. Um, like it was only my right eye. Mm -hmm. See the doctor, the doctor's just like, this is a medical anomaly. Like we don't know how that's, this happened. Cause usually eye conditions happen over like a small period of time. Yeah. They do all these tests to be able to see things in advance. Those things literally took my sight in like 24 hours. So yeah, so the right eye started to go. So we rushed me into surgery, got the right eye out. Mm -hmm. Then uh, five days later, same thing happens. Left eye goes, have to get it out the surgery, because they did some stuff before the surgery to try to prevent things, but it ended up causing more complications. Like they dilated my pupil. So when they go in to take out the implant, it's more risky. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I ended up with 70% vision loss in my right eye, but it wasn't a dark blindness. It's cornea problem. So the implant ended up causing inflammation. It killed off all the endothelia cells. Mm -hmm. And those don't regenerate. So that's what cornea blindness is. It's like a fog. Like I'd explain it like you're in a steam room and you look out. It's just all just, you can see outlines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 70% lost in my right eye and basically 35 in my left. And um, thank God for Canada medical system. It really like went quickly. 
because my case, like I'm a young person and um, my eye doctor presented my case at like a convention for all of eye doctors of Canada Mm -hmm. and the leading cornea specialist, he contacted them right away and was like, I want to save her vision and then contacted me and I was in there for a cornea transplant two weeks later. But I had spent a year and a half with vision loss. Oh, my God. Once the eye doctor reached out to me, he got me the transplants, what I needed. It's a cellular um, DMAC cornea transplant in both eyes. And he did that so quickly. But, yeah, I spent like a year and a half. Wow. So how did you, like, how did that affect your life? Mm. I mean, could you drive? Mm. No. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Um, and did you, were you still like camming and, and doing like your, like, did you take a break from work? Oh my God, that's terrifying. Yeah. What was your mindset at that time? I mean, a year and a half is a long time to, to think about and to be, and to fear lifetime of blindness. Mm-hmm. So what did you do? I tried to stay focused. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell even my good fans. I feel so bad. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tell them what was going on. Were you able to like kind of fake that you could see okay? Uh yeah. But I wasn't filming. I was just pushing out old stuff. Mm-hmm. So then you went and you got your vision restored. Yes. What was that moment like? That must have been incredible. Oh, gosh. It was, well, because with eyes, you can only operate on one eye at a time. Okay. So it was like a movie experience. All I can explain it is, like with this DMAC cornea transplant, it's so amazing how far medical has come. They take the cellular level of somebody's donor tissue, slip it in, like, replacing my endothelial cells that shouldn't have been rejuvenated and put an air pocket in there so that it pushes up against the eye because the cornea is round. Mm -hmm. I lay flat for 24 hours with a bandage over my face. I take it off and like, Holly, I'm just like the moment of you picture in a movie, you open up and it's crystal clear. Wow. Yeah. So this eye got repaired first, my right eye and then my left eye, but getting that hope So then when I had my left eye done, I was just like, yes, like, and it went just as well. Wow. Lucky girl syndrome. So I was just like, new lease on life. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, those, those moments of like fear and those awful experiences often have that, that silver lining of it makes us appreciate like what we have and like that gratitude. And I think that that's something that's like, so important. Mm-hmm. So do you look at your brown eyes now and think like, they're beautiful. <laughs> I love them. Mm. Uh, that That's like, I don't know. I just like, I haven't even gone there yet, actually. But how long ago did you get your vision back? Because you lost it in 2022. So this is recent. Yeah. So, and time flies, right? And like, well, through the dark points, mm-hmm. like I had ECT mm-hmm. because my depression got so bad. So, like, my memory is not too good. Yeah. Like, with stuff and especially with time. But um, I've been 2020 vision and in the clear with stable vision for a year and three months. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Do you still wake up every morning and uh, like <clears throat> can't, like, can't believe no, that? No, like, I'm not see- there yet. Like, the mornings are the worst part for me because, mm. like, there's so much trauma that is still like, I. I'm scared to death every day to open my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, and then I trust, like, I have to put in drops now for the rest of my life. But so it's like a whole routine. So the morning's like waking up, I go through like a roller coaster, terrified. Yeah. Okay. Confirm I can see still. Yeah. Yeah. Take the drops and get on with life and be super grateful. Yeah. But yeah. Terrified. 